Some Legion baseball action tonight in West Fargo. The Patriots hosting their first game since they won the Gopher Classic over the weekend. Their opponents tonight, the Bismarck Governors, in a double header. The Governors taking the first game and they're off to a promising start in the second. Bismarck with runners on second and third, but Matt Hupel shuts that down. The pitcher doesn't even give the batter a chance, striking him out looking to retire the side. West Fargo looking to get the scoring start in the bottom of the first, but Bismarck holds strong. A nice shot up the middle's cut off by the shortstop, and Noah Reedinger stretches out for the tag at first. The Patriots go three up and three down to bring the first frame to a close. We're still scoreless, but not for very long. Bismarck with the bases loaded. Lucas Vasey gets us with a stiff shot to third base. It's cut off by the Patriots, but not before Parker Sagsveen comes home. The Govs with a 1-0 lead. Bismarck leaving West Fargo with a sweep, winning the first game 13-2 and the closer 4-3. The Patriots fall to 26-11 on the year. They're set to play Fargo post two on Friday. The Minnesota Twins with a dramatic win tonight in their second game in as many days against the Milwaukee Brewers. Jose Miranda hit a walk-off three-run homer in the bottom of the ninth to secure the 4-1 victory. The win forces a split in the short series between these two teams. Minnesota now 49-41 and on the season as they get ready to head into enemy territory. They'll play the White Sox in Chicago for a three-game series to wrap up the first half of the regular season. While free agency is the talk of the pro hockey world today, development camps are still underway for NHL teams. For the Minnesota Wild, the camp has welcomed in a homegrown prospect. Brock Faber, who's currently a defenseman and captain with the Minnesota Golden Gophers, saw his draft rights traded to the Wild over the summer. The Wild uh, were the Maple Grove native's favorite team growing up. Now, while he's waiting to officially join the roster, he gets an early start on his boyhood dream. The Blue Liners taking full advantage of his development camp opportunity. Obviously, it's a development camp, so it's you know that's kind of what you're here for is just to work on getting better. And obviously, for me, just kind of getting here to you know meet some guys, you know, get to know the staff, the development guys, um, and then other prospects here. So um, I'd say you know to get better and to you know um, kind of get close with the, you know those people around me that will hopefully be around me a lot in the future. So. Favor was the Big Ten Conference's Defensive Player of the Year last season, so we may see him in a wild sweater sooner rather than later. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks so much, Devin.